Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to this Next.js and Strapi tutorial series. In a previous video, we saw how to do a Boolean search in Strapi. Namely, we have a set of fields uh, within an entity that are Boolean values, and we like to return the entities, namely the jobs in this case, that match uh, that particular query. Okay, so and that uh, namely is useful for us if I look again once again at the final version where we are headed is to be able to filter by these two toggle uh, buttons here radio buttons here okay now in this video our attention is going to be put on um, filtering by ranges okay so by salary ranges how uh, can we do accomplish that in Strapi okay so let's do that again our query is going to be um, added here as a sub query because we want all these filters to talk to one another we don't want them to be isolated so i'm going to add another filter a sub query add a range query filter query filters all right and here i'm going to do exactly the same so if uh actually yeah if Actually, I don't think I need that. Uh, I can just call. I don't need to uh, specify like I did for the other one. So strap it of filters, uh, uh, base, oops, need to add base salary, base annual. That's how it's called in the database, annual salary equals. Then I add my filters. Okay. And how do we do that in Strapi? Well, it's very simple. You have greater. Uh, or equal uh, if I search here greater than greater or equal where is that let me see filtering da -da -da. let's see it's filtering complex filtering okay so range greater all right fantastic here we go here we go so you have greater or equal and lower than or equal so that's that's these are the two ones that we need okay so let's do that here okay so filters again let's see what our application looks like so here it's basically um i think what you want to do is lesser uh, sorry is greater or equal and then strictly less okay so that's what you want to do or we can have both inclusive i think it's fine uh, it doesn't hurt so let's do that here greater than or equal to well we're going to get it from the query but uh, it's going to be called mean base salary all right and then the other one obviously is lower than or equal so uh, query max base salary very good okay so now let's test this let's test this right away uh oh i should not have added it here actually not here this is not where you want to be i want to add it here okay fantastic like this all right so now let's test this very simple let me copy this comment this out and I'm going to add like these two values here just to test it very fast. Sec. Like this. Okay, so mean base salary of 70k and 120k a year. And let's see what we have. Uh, if I refresh the jobs that we are finding in the database, only three left. Okay. So if we remove this mean and we say, let's say mean um, to 100, for example, like this, let's see if we have less because we are spending it, like you see, only two. Now, if we go to uh, 120, 20, I think you're going to have only one left. Oh, no okay two still because i think we have two jobs in the database with uh, 120 as a salary yeah and that's exactly the case okay 120 so if we say mean uh, 130 and 140 here obviously we're not, we're not gonna find anything right nothing at all but if we go down to 30 
when you refresh, we're going to get all the six jobs that are currently in the database exactly. And that's exactly what, what we want. OK, so this is working perfectly. Uh, in the next video, we're going to see how to do inclusion search. Well, is that useful? Well, when we have, for example, um, these fields, these are this, we can pass in multiple values like this. So we would like to filter all the job types that match um, all the jobs that match um, either, right? So it's like doing an or query. Basically, um, we want a job to either be full-time, either be part-time, either be internship, either be contract. And similarly for experience level, either be junior, either be senior, either be uh, either junior, medium, senior. Okay, so we, we need a way to tell content for uh, Stra Strapi to not just look at a single value, but to look at uh, a set of possible values. And that's exactly what we're going to do in the next video. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching.